I was shocked. Everyone was shocked. It was one for the history books. It was a stain on the club's reputation. Crowds of spectators just sat there waiting. For the first time ever, the Open was cancelled. The question everyone wanted to know was why? No balls. That's why. All the balls went missing. Every single one of them. Gone. Gone. It was suspicious. Balls don't just disappear like that. It's not a magic show. It's a tennis match. Everyone was a suspect. The first person I was suspicious of was Barry. He was seen in the morning and his pockets were bulging. I could clearly see he was hiding balls. No. Get your facts straight. What was he even wearing pants that day? One person who doesn't seem to have an alibi is Billy. Billy was acting suspicious all day. She was making weird noises and talking to herself. <laughs> okay, okay. So I like to come up here sometimes and pretend I'm a giant, you know, wreaking havoc over the countryside. But I'm no thief, just a giant, sometimes. There was a rumor that George was heard on the blah, phone blah, coming blah, down the blah. stairs. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. It wasn't on the stairs. It was on the court. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. He was clearly heard saying, I'm so bored I could steal a bunch of tennis balls. I would never say that. All anyone had to do was search his backpack. Yeah, but there were no tennis balls. All I know is that it, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. What? They found the balls? Where were they? So, the tennis balls were in a box labelled tennis balls this whole time. It's not even a scandal. Hang on. That's not the end of the film, is it? I thought this was meant to be a four-part series. Okay.